Well, welcome to this demonstration of Form Maker by Isoperla. And um, we'll start off by creating a new form. Um, let's call it uh, Staff Details. And uh, if we click on that little tick button up there, it's created the form for us. And we go into design mode. And in here, we can uh, start building our form. So the first thing we'll do is we we'll just change the page heading. And uh, let's uh, let's make the page heading. I don't know, let's call it staff name. There'll be more to it than that, but let's just put that on there. And we'll also put something in a section heading. The section is where you actually add the controls onto. So the fields onto. And we'll say, just say in there, let's uh, please enter the details. How about that? Uh, and again, once we've done that, we just click the little tick and it's done that for us. And now we start actually adding our fields. So let's put on a, a text box and give it the title of name. And we'll put in another text box, I think. And we'll call that one uh, someone like the email address. We'll put in the email and we'll make the keyboard type um, the email keyboard. So it comes up with that keyboard when you want to ed enter text into that field. And we're just on the section. We can we can have up to five columns on a section. We'll make this one two columns because that looks quite nice with with um, fields which aren't too long. Um, and then we'll add a picker field. Uh, this is standard iOS control. And uh, what should we use the picker for? Let's use it, use it for entering the salary. So we give it a label. The label's important because that's how the data uh, shows up on your export of the. Um, of the details later. So the placeholder is where we put in this list of possible values, values and they're separated by comma. So we put in uh, not selected, low, medium and high there. Um, the label I'll hide because we can actually, it doesn't add an awful lot to the um, to the input side. Um, so we'll, we'll change the values so they're a bit more obvious what they are because without a label we're not quite sure what low, medium and high refers to. So let's call it low salary uh, medium salary and how about high salary <laughs> and then the default value I've changed to medium salary so it matches the uh, the middle list item and we can have as many items as we like in a in a pick a control not just three um, in a segmented control which is this control I'm putting on now we're a bit more limited uh, it's a standard iOS control but um, if you start adding too many possible values, then it starts looking very busy and it starts truncating the, the labels. Um, so it's great for three or four possible values. And here we'll use it for, what should we use it for? Um, let's ha have how often somebody is paid. So let's go weekly, monthly, and by invoice. And let's make the default. Uh, let's make the label make sure we set that first to paid um, but we'll hide that how about how that look that looks quite nice um, but let's shift it down below the picker control because it looks a bit nicer down there we use use the line break to do that let's make the default value monthly and have a look at that yeah it looks all right doesn't it so let's put another picker control up there and We'll use this one to uh, to capture the job title. So, what should we make this? Let's just say we're we're working in a hospital and we'll have some uh, some hospital job titles. So, what should we have? Well, I guess doctor, uh, nurse, and how about receptionist? Let's have those. And again, those, it's fairly clear what we're talking about here. So let's hide the label. And there's no need for the label to be shown there. Let's um, have another segmented control. And we'll use the clone function just to create a new copy of that control. And um, what should we use this one for? Uh, let me think now. Um, how about how often they're reviewed? get reviewed let's say it's uh, annually and the list of possible values would be let's say uh, well, monthly
actually annually and let's say some people might not get reviewed at all so let's have not reviewed again a nice comma separated list there I don't know how do you spell reviewed i before e or e before i i think it's i before e isn't it uh, i might be wrong with that um hide the label uh, i think that's about it yeah that's fine um uh, then what else should we chuck onto this form let's stick a Let's stick a map on there, it's always quite nice to have a little map on there, isn't it? Um, it's a little bit big, so let's make it a bit smaller. Oh dear, not quite that small, let's make it a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, that's more like it. Uh, what should we put onto the map? Let's stick a pin on there, and uh, let's say this is where the person works. Um, how about Paris? That's quite a nice place to work, isn't it? So let's go for Paris in there, and we can change the, the colour of the pin. Right, isn't it? We do quite a lot more with maps, and we can link to other pages with maps using the tag feature. But for this purpose, let's just have a very simple map. Let's stick a little signature on here. This is a freehand text field, it doesn't have to be a signature, it could be anything. But uh, let's say in this case it is a signature, so we'll just say uh, the label is signed. And we'll show the label in this case because it's just a box, it's not very clear what that field is unless you have a label next to it. So let's say signed for that. and uh, what else can we chuck onto this form? Let's have a let's have a camera button so we can take a photograph of this uh, this staff member. Um, okay, let's give it a label, but let's hide that label because it's fairly obvious what we're doing here. It's got a big camera button on there, and then let's have a last field. Let's have a let's have a date field, and it's going to default to today's date, whatever today's date happens to be when you're filling the form in. You can actually put in a date to fix it, um, but normally it'd just be today's date. And there we go. So that's, uh, that's our form designed. So now when we run the form, um, okay, we're just going to capture uh, a name and a few details. So let's put in the name and the email address. Notice the, the keyboard changes to an email keyboard there. And let's say they're low salary and doctor well that doesn't happen does it let's say low salary and receptionists more likely unfortunately um and let's say they're paid weekly and reviewed monthly and oh look they're in paris and uh, we'll have a rather a lame attempt to to sign a, a name in here yeah that is very lame isn't it um add a photo normally on a device it would be um just throwing up the, the camera for you there to take a picture but because it's on a simulator it's using the camera roll and um, we'll put in a date but default is today's date and that's captured the details quite simply there when we want to look at the details we go to the results screen and and there we go that's the, the details we entered earlier normally of course there'd be lots of details entered not just one record and uh, we can print that if we want to and that's about it